Hi, welcome back. This is the second part of the skin retouching tutorial. What we're going to look at here is using the stamp tool, the clone stamp tool, to address some of the very dark and very light areas within the, uh, within the image. So, what we have here is we have a new clean layer created. We're going to rename this retouch. Clone. And we're going to look at how our tools are set up. So we have a clone stamp tool selected. It's select, set to sample from the current layer and all layers below. It's set as aligned. And we've got the flow set to 20%. This is because I'm using a tablet. And the opacity set to 100%. I'm also working with these two modes, darken and lighten. We're going to use lighten first. Something else that's very important is that we lock the position of this layer, and that's simply done by checking that box there. So, to give you an example of where we're going to use this, we're going to look at some of these very dark lashes here, so these very dark brows, and take them out and start to tidy up the brow that we've got here. So very simply, we take our tool, we sample very nearby, and we just brush away the images, the existing lashes that we're seeing here. Now what you'll see is that all that's happening is that we're actually just bringing in and just taking out the pixels that are darker. By having this set mode lighten, we're only light hitting the pixels which are darker than the source selected. So we're lightening these pixels to match the surrounding area. This gives us much greater control and means that we can work with a slightly larger brush as well, particularly when we're working around something like eyelashes and eyebrows, which are very, very fine, and sometimes we have to have the brush so small that we couldn't see it. And we can continue over these stray hairs that are in the uh, top of the nose there as well. And we can keep going with this all day long, just looking at the areas which are quite dark. A very, very high contrast, very strong, bold areas. These are the areas that we don't really want to try and adjust. With the next method, which is the dodging and burning, this is where we want to hit very, very dark pixels. We can also look at these areas which are in the skin. Very, very, very tiny little dark patches. Again, we don't want to be trying to do these all with dodging and burning. So we can very quickly knock them down using this method. Now you can apply exactly the same technique to the healing tool. I have a preference to not use the healing tool. I, I'm not a fan of it. Because sometimes it can make more work for yourself because of the extra textures that it's trying to, uh, trying to introduce. And there we are. A quick run through of how to use the healing tool and how it, it seems to work best for me. So if we toggle these on, you can see that the, the eyelashes and the eye, sorry, the eyebrows and all of those stray hairs, unwanted hairs, can be very quickly removed. Now you can work your way around this image, and taking out all of these pieces until you get to the stage where you're comfortable to move on to the next point. This will take you some time and it's worth just working your way through the image, stopping, coming away from it, coming back, looking, seeing if there's any other pieces you want to do. But this isn't the way to address all of the skin 